Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. We are in my closet again because I ordered a bunch of clothing. You know, spring is kind of fast approaching and where I live here in Las Vegas, we're here in the desert and until we get like into the summertime, it is warm during the day. It'll get up probably into the 70s soon. Um, but at night, as soon as the sun goes down, it gets pretty cool out. So I like, um, you know, this sort of spring transition gear where I'm layering stuff. I'm kind of playing around with different fabrics. And uh, I, I have to tell you, it has been quite the, I don't know, challenge is kind of an overstatement, but it's it's been a little bit of a challenge learning how to dress here in Vegas versus New York City. So, you know, I'm originally from New York and I, I had that down. I mean, you're basically always going to be kind of uncomfortable in New York because the weather fluctuates not only from day to day, but from hour to hour and you're in and out of the subway and in and out of stores and the buildings are old, they're overheated, they're underheated. I mean, it's just kind of a mess. And then you're out walking and so then you get hot. So I've always been able to kind of dress uh, with this sort of like variation in mind. Um, but here in Vegas, it's, it's a different, it's a different variation because in the summer times you want to dress you know, like really coolly because it's going to be very warm out. However, you don't actually spend that much time outside. You're always inside. There's a ton of air conditioning. And so I kind of end up wearing the same things all year round. I mean, not like, I'm not going to wear like an, uh, like a shielding overcoat or something in the summertime here, but like my core wardrobe doesn't actually change that much. And so I've really gotten into the idea of like layering very light pieces and you know neckwear between like scarves and wraps and things like that like i just never know when i'm gonna catch a chill here in vegas it's it's yeah it's just very interesting because you just think it's just gonna be hot all the time and it really isn't whether it's uh the desert night which is very very cold or the air conditioning so anyway um i've been you know kind of building my wardrobe here and so i just got a whole bunch of stuff for this like spring transition time which is I feel like a time where I can focus on pieces that I can wear all the time because like I said, the, that core wardrobe um, doesn't really change that much here in Vegas. So um, the first thing I wanted to, I guess, try on and, and play around with you guys is the um, black cocoon cardigan, cashmere cardigan that I ordered from Jenny Kane. Um, I did this haul in one of my previous vlogs and I got extra large and it was just too big. I kept the extra large in the cable cocoon. You guys are probably seeing me wear that uh, because that's a thicker uh, fabric. And so it being oversized, it looks, it looks like it should be oversized. Like there's a um, structure to it where these cashmere ones are a little bit thinner. And so there's a lot more drape to it. So it just looked like there's just all this like fabric kind of swimming about. And I didn't like that. I feel like that's kind of the difference between looking kind of like oversized, a uh, little, fashion forward versus sloppy. So let me open this up. And I had gotten the black and the heather gray and I returned both and I just, I just ordered the black. There wasn't anything wrong with the heather gray. I just felt like I'm gonna wear the black a lot more. I have a lot of gray sweaters as it is. Um, I wear my Loewe deer, deer rabbit cardigan all the time. And even though that's like a very uh, kind of washed out sage green. I feel like I wear that in lieu of gray. So I feel like I have a lot of heather gray options where surprisingly, I don't actually have a lot of black sweater options. Here it is. And again, this is the size large. This does not feel like cashmere. I'm so confused. So, well, this is interesting. <laughs> as soon as I took this out, you guys know there is a difference between uh, the way cashmere feels and the way cotton feels. Cotton feels kind of dry. Well, that's exactly how this looked. But cotton also doesn't take color the way wool and other animal uh, fibers take. I'm sure you guys have seen that as well. Like it always looks kind of like it's been washed. Um, and that's what this looks like. I don't know if you can see it on the gray. Yeah, maybe not gray, black. Maybe you can see it right there. And it feels dry. And it is, this is labeled wrong. So this is actually 70% organic cotton, 30% recycled polyamide. However, they have this tagged as the cashmere cocoon. I'm really bummed. I am actually going away this weekend for just a quick trip, um, a girl's weekend. And I was excited to bring the cashmere cardigan along, 
Oh no. All right. Well, their customer service has been wonderful because I had to make that return. Um, and I will have to contact them again. Okay. All right. All right. A little bit of a false start there. Um, let me show you uh, what I got actually from uh, Net-A-Porter and from Totem. And I have just fallen in love with Totem, the brand in general, and they are, I believe, Swedish based. Anyway, I ordered a bunch of stuff uh, from them through Net-A-Porter and then I ordered a couple of things um, from their actual site because Net-A-Porter didn't have them or they didn't have the right size or they didn't actually have the product. So here's my box from Totem. Oh. Huh. Nice. They put it all into a shopping bag. <laughs> all right. Uh, so I got two things from the actual Totem site. I got uh, a trench coat, which I know is like the stupidest thing to buy when you live in the desert, but I just love a good trench coat. And I feel like I'm probably going to be traveling to New York a bit. Anyway, I just love the way it looked. And then I got, what is it? I can't tell from the actual packing. So I think it's a blouse. Let's see. Ah, yes. So I got this silk blouse. I just loved the stripes on here. I thought that was really cool. And I did get the size, let's see, 42. So it's a German 42, which is much larger than either a French or an Italian 42. Because I think both of the French and Italian, I'm like a 44 or 46. So I got 42. And I love how these sleeves are split. I think that's really pretty. So here is the blouse. I don't have, <laughs> I don't have pants on yet, but here is the blouse. I love this very simple, narrow, like Mandarin collar or collarless shirt. Um, and then it's got this hidden placket for the buttons and it's sewn down between each yeah, between each buttonhole, which is really nice because this silk fabric is so soft that it would probably pucker if you didn't sew it down. So that's nice. And then here are the giant slits. The only issue is that, you know, I have short arms. This is very long, uh, long sleeves, and I can't really roll these up because of that slit. So I'm going to have to kind of wear these as a, as a very dramatic <laughs> sort of statement here, or I can see if I can get them shortened. Let me see what the seam is like up here. I may be able to get them shortened up here or yeah, maybe I can take it to my tailor and figure it out because the slit is also very long. So even if he just did that or maybe, could he extend this? He may be, no, he can't extend this because there's an overlap. Anyway, <laughs> I could possibly take it to my tailor and see what he could do with that. But I really like this. I love this graphic striping. It's so cool. Look how it looks under the the underarm. It's so cool. And there's the back. There are also side slits here. I'm trying not to flash you totally, but there are side slits there. So this is definitely a keeper. I think this is really, really pretty. Really pretty. So that's the first thing I got. And then I got, like I said, this trench coat. And it has this, oh, I'm going to have to model it for you, which I will do. Uh, but it has this like, um, kind of like a, a, an extra, I don't want to call it like a, a bib, but it's, yeah, it, it has like this extra piece of fabric there and then it's draped all the way in the front, um, but the belt is attached to the bottom in the back. Anyway, let's take a look at it with me actually modeling it so you get a better sense of what this looks like. And I also got this in size 42. And this is um, an item that was not on Eta Porte. I had to get this off of the Totem site. Okay, let's try on this coat together. So it only has one button here at the top, which I'll just button just to show you guys. And then, okay, I need to roll up these sleeves. They're kind of long. Get those shortened. Ooh, and that's nice. The seams are finished on the inside. Can you see that? They're like closed over. Very nice. Okay, so this is the extra piece of fabric I was trying to describe. <laughs> so it's back here, which is where the belt is attached to at the bottom. 
and then in the front it goes all the way down and then there's kind of like this handkerchief hem at the bottom i just thought this was such a cool situation here but let me close this up but here is that piece in the front isn't that so cool i just think it's so cool it's such a nice interesting take on the trench coat without actually adding too much you know either patterning or color or whatever and there are pockets down here Oh, I love this. I love this, like, it looks like an apron front here. Yes, I love it. I'm just going to have to steam it out a little bit. I'm sure you guys can see all the wrinkles at the bottom. How cool. I'm so glad I picked this up. I was really hesitant because, again, I live in the desert, and I'm like, how often am I going to wear a trench coat? But I think this is different enough that it just sort of looks like an outer, an outer piece wear, you know, not something just for the rainy days. By the way, this uh, trench coat is 67% cotton and 33% cupro. And I want you to show you that there's no um, logoing or anything on the outside of this trench, uh, but there is like a totem tag right on the inside. So very, very subdued. But I love that a lot of the seams are finished off. Like look at this armhole. All the seams are finished. Oh, I love this. And then from Net-A-Porter, what I picked up from Totem is a pair of pants. I just feel like you can never have enough, like, nice black trousers. So I got these. They have a tapered leg. They are a wool. Let's see. Again, size 42. So the pleats are actually top stitch, which is a feature I really like because it keeps them pleated in the right place. So basically it's not just a pleat where it's like pleated, you know, in the waistband and then it's just this extra sort of fabric. These are pleated like a fine pleat and then they're just stitched together here. I think it's going to be really hard to tell with this black fabric, but there's top stitching there, uh, which is a really nice detail. So these are 100% wool and they are not lined, which I like. I don't like lined pants. I don't know what that is. I just find lined pants just, it's like, it feels like there's too much fabric going on. <laughs> so anyway, those are unlined, which works for me. Here are the pants. They fit really nicely in the waist and my thighs and my calves. I have thick thighs. I carry weight in my stomach. I have giant calves. So a lot of times <laughs> tapered like pants get caught somewhere. You know, like they're too tight around my calves or uh, they're too tight in the waist and then they do this weird pulling thing. But these actually fit really, really nicely. Yeah, and they have pockets here, really nice. Belt loops, perfect. Let me tuck in this shirt, see how that looks. Really nice, oof, I love these. It's nice to find a clothing line that I feel like suits your body type because it's so hard sometimes. All right, another keeper. And then I got this belt because I just thought it looked really cool. So it's just like polished leather, but it doubles around. So it's super long. So there's only one size uh, to this. And let's see if there's any other details to show you. Well, the belt buckle is gold, small, demure. I don't know if I'm into like the really giant statement belt buckle. I don't know. Sometimes I don't mind it and sometimes I'm like, so much it's so much but anyway uh this is a nice gold polished there is totem engraved at the top really subdued and yeah and you can see how long it <laughs> how long it is so we'll try that on as well it also came in this nice box with this dust bag which is really nice okay so i'm putting on this belt and now i'm thinking do i <laughs> do i double it up in the belt loops let's see so this is one time around and then if anyone has a doubled up belt let me know i mean if i'm gonna wear this maybe over a dress i don't have to worry about this but <laughs> i'm gonna wear this with pants maybe i won't let me see what it looks like if the first go around is in the belt loop and then the second go around 
is not. So I'm not sure, hold on, let me see if I can zoom in. So I'm not sure if that works because I feel like it can get kind of messy and move around a bit. But then I feel like if I'm putting both loops through the belt loops, then you're really only seeing one of the belt and that seems weird too. So maybe this is a belt not meant for pants, only really meant for um, like to be worn over like a dress or, so, or like a trench coat or something like that where you don't have to deal with belt loops necessarily. But I think I'm gonna keep playing around with it, but it does fit. And I do know they have a version of this that is croc embossed, but I just got the plain leather. And then the last thing I got from Totem is this handbag because I just thought it looked so beautiful and it's not inexpensive, don't get me wrong, but it is far from, you know, Chanel, Hermes, even like Bottega Veneta prices or whatever. So I was like, let me give it a shot. So this is the handbag that I got. Isn't that pretty? I just thought it was so beautiful. It is called the Pomelada Leather T-Lock Top Handle. And let's see how this lock opens. I don't know if it opens. Oh yeah, so you just twist it down and then you can raise this. Here's the inside. So there's a little heat stamp here, Totem, made in Italy. And then the inside, hold on, let me take, take all the stuffing out. And then we have, can you guys see? There's a pocket here and then there's two pockets here. This is leather and then, Looks like there's a strap that is adjustable. And then it has these uh, swivel hooks that you can attach the sides here. There are these like D rings on the inside here where you can attach these swivel hooks. Let me do that. Here's that shoulder strap. And I actually just accidentally closed this lid with this handle on the inside, but I guess you could do that if you wanna kind of tuck it out of the way, but Let's pull that out just so we can see the full effect here. So top handle, a longer shoulder strap. I don't know if I can make this long enough for crossbody, but the way they had it uh, modeled, like they were kind of holding it like a clutch style without the shoulder strap. And I kind of liked that idea as well, but it would be nice as like a kind of a tidy shoulder bag. It's really pretty here. So it's a little snug for me with the short strap here. So that is definitely for hand holding, which is really cool. Or like I said, I feel like I've seen it like this a lot, just kind of held as a clutch. And then this shoulder strap, I have it on the middle hole here. And that's nice for kind of a snug shoulder fit. But let's put it on the longest hole and just see what we can do with that. Yeah, definitely not long enough for crossbody, but if you want a lower hanging shoulder strap or if you have like a big, maybe dolman sleeve coat or something, I think this could fit over it. Ooh, I love this bag though, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I am definitely taking this out today. <laughs> and this buckle seems, yeah, very easy to maneuver, not, not too fussy, which is nice. This is great. This here's a closer look. So I love this detailing. It makes it look like this is um, adjustable, but it's not. This is all stationary. And some feet on the bottom, which is always nice. Oh, that's awesome. Love this. Gorgeous. All right, guys, that is it for my uh, spring transition haul. I'm a little bit bummed that I didn't get my cashmere, my cashmere cardigan in, because I think that would actually be a nice piece to throw over this. Um, but we'll get that taken care of. I'll get it exchanged. And that's it. I'll link to everything down below. I am loving, loving this brand, Totem. I have that striped turtleneck sweater from them and that camel haired sweater from them. And I've just fallen in love with the line. It is exactly like the style and the clothing that I want to wear on like a day-to-day -day basis. It just, yeah, it just looks really elegant, but comfortable and not too put upon and not too um, extravagant. For me, it just like strikes the right tone. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye.